All right, so we've talked about changing dimensions. We're going to do the same thing with a sphere um, about what happens when you change dimensions. So suppose the radius of a sphere is divided by 2. What is the effect on the surface area? Okay, so we're saying what happens to the surface area. Well, I'm going to start by writing down the formula for surface area so I make sure I'm using the correct one. Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times radius squared. And then I'm going to try it out on this figure they gave me. Okay, so let's find the surface area of just our original figure. It has a radius of 3, so its surface area would be 4 times pi times 3 squared. 3 squared, or 3 times 3, is 9. Okay, times 4. Okay, and I get a surface area of 36 pi. They want to know what would happen if we took the radius and divided it by 2. So if we took this radius and divided by 2, our radius is now 1.5. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Let's find that surface area. Using the same formula, just with our new radius, 4 times pi times 1.5 squared. Go ahead and square 1.5, so 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25. 2.25 times 4 gives me 9. Okay, so here are our two surface areas. Here's the original, and here is the new. What happened to it? How do you get from 36 to 9? Well, our radius had happened when we divided the radius by 2. Notice 36 divided by 4 is 9. So what was the effect? It was divided by 4 or multiplied by a fourth. Okay. And one thing I want you to notice is notice this is in square units. Dividing by 2, if you square that, you get a ah, or dividing by 2 affects it, you are dividing by 2 squared or 4. Okay, but you can do the trial here, or you can use the logic we've used in the past. Let's try this one. Suppose the radius of this sphere is divided by 4. So, again, what we would do is kind of compare them. This is the same figure we had in the last question, so I know its surface area is going to be 36 pi. Okay. What would its surface area be if we divided this by 4? Okay, so 3 divided by 4 gives me a new radius of 0.75. Okay, so let's see what would the effect be on the surface area if we divide the radius by 4. We did. We divided our radius of 3 by 4. We have a new radius of 0.75. Our surface area should be 4 pi times that radius squared. So 4 times pi times 0.75 squared. I'm going to square 0.75. That gives me 4 times pi times 0.5625. Okay. Let it end multiply by 4. And I get 2.25 pi. So originally I had a surface area of 36 pi. Now I have a sur surface area of 2.25 pi. What changed? Well, if we take 36 pi, divide it by 2.25 pi, we get 16. Okay, so the, the original is 16 times the new, or the, the new one is the original divided, because it made it smaller, by 16. Okay, so once again, notice dividing the radius by 4 for surface area, it affected it because surface area is squared. Okay, it affected it in a squared manner. It was the same as dividing the surface area by 16.